Alrighty, let's get right into it. This is indeed a part two of the mailbag we started the other day. Lots and lots of goodies arrived in the shop. This goes along with uh, parts that arrived in the last one for our big robot build. This is a standard stepper motor used on 3D printers, uh, all kinds of stuff. This is not a high value item. Uh, again, I will post the links to all of this stuff below when relevant. Otherwise, I add it to my store, which is also linked below, which is store.makeme.org. But we'll use this to steer our front wheels on that large robot project when the time comes. I'm hoping it has enough power, but we're going to find out. It's going to be on smooth surfaces, so I think we should be able to turn the front wheels with this. But if not, well, I'm just going to do a gearbox. Next up, at the request of you guys, we also wanted to do some 18650 battery testing and work and play around with them a little bit more with these lithium ion cells and this is a new charger that I got. This is the Nokoser, uh, kind of a no-name brand, nothing too crazy, right out of China, again bought from eBay but I'll add it to my store, I already have uh, my Amazon store. I think this is going to be pretty good, uh, I'm going to leave it delisted until I make sure it works before I uh, make it available for you guys to buy on my store, but I think it'll be fun. Next up, I have no idea what this is. Ah, USB charge doctor type thing. Just a standard USB uh, amperage and voltage sensor and display for USB. Nothing too crazy. I think it has a memory function too. Next up, this will get its own video. This is a Wi-Fi controlled smart outlet from Alec City. Uh, from Amazon, they approached me to give it a try, and this is supposed to be uh, natively compatible with the Amazon Alexa, with the Echo Dots and stuff. So it looked like a fairly well, like, it didn't look cheap. That's why I accepted it. So, and the pricing was actually very reasonable. So we'll test this out, uh, just a quick standalone video and see how it works. The weakness of this stuff is usually on the apps that control it. Whether it gets along natively with uh, the Amazon hardware or not is usually the stumbling point. But we'll test it out. Speed controls. Perfect. I've been waiting for these. These are TTSRC BL Heli S 30 amp speed controls. Good for four cell lipos. We're going to use these on the little 3D printed quad project that I kind of have in the works in the background. You guys haven't seen a lot of coverage on it yet. Maybe you have if you follow me on Instagram and stuff down below. Uh, you might have seen some pictures. But I needed some new speed controls to, to set it up. So, hey, there we go. Speaking of quadcopters. This will get its own video. This is from Gearbest. I'll post the link below. This is the Fury B X215 Pro quadcopter. We'll do an entire video devoted to testing this thing out, but this is a ready to fly uh, four or five, you might even be able to run six cell uh, bind and fly quadcopter setup with a really impressive camera, video transmitter, everything ready to go for basically less money than I could build it. So I accepted this for review. We'll give it a go. Uh, I kind of think a foregone conclusion that this thing is going to be a rocket ship. Uh, it is going to be a fast quad. I know that just by the weight of it. Even just the weight of the box and all is uh, less than some of the first quads I built. So this is going to be fun. Next up, I got some meter leads. Now, if I remember right, I picked these up because of the super fine point on them and the fact that they looked like very similar to what you would expect from a high quality lead. I'm going to put them through their paces and give them a go, but I really wanted something with a fine tip. My The ones that come with my Fluke 189 and 289, they don't come with this super, super fine tip, which is really handy when working with micros. So it's good to have another set. Uh, we'll test them out. I don't anticipate any problems, truthfully. Longevity mm, could be a problem, but I don't, I'm not that hard on things on the bench, so these cheap ones really will do the job. 
Next up, what did we get here? Oh, this is another lipo tester. Uh, not lipo tester. Um, 18650 battery tester, except it comes with a ballast resistor installed and everything kind of all in one system with a USB interface and the whole bit. I gotta go back on the listing and check this out. I'll add it to my store down below because I've seen some reviews on this and the reviews were stellar. This thing seemed to work fantastic for checking out 18650s. So uh, again, really price reasonable and a fun little project to play with. It's kind of neat. Just needs a 3D printed case and tidy it up and then you'd have a pretty neat little project. But we'll, uh, we'll test it out in an upcoming video. Next up some more USB charge monitoring devices. This uh, has a small USB in, the big USB here, and also has a memory recall button and programming button. I think you can set it to catch limits and stuff. I'd have to check the, the uh, listing out if you're interested in checking it out yourself. Well, here you go. There's the information, the model number, and you can check it out. We'll play with it. Uh, probably not, it's not gonna be a standalone video, but at some project, you'll probably see me use that and we'll see how it works. Ah, perfect. These are from Amazon, uh, good, reputable, uh, cell, uh, PK cell, 2200 milliamp hour. We'll see whether they do that. That's, that might be still a little on the aggressive side, but we'll see 3.7 volt 5C. So nothing too crazy, but what I needed was the last ones I got. I got the, uh, the ones with the nub on the end, and these are just flat tab ones for, uh, they fit into some of the battery trays better or for soldering to or spot welding to. More battery trays. These again, I believe were for 18650 cells. If I remember right, when I ordered them, yeah, 3.7 volt. Uh, so for different projects. Uh, in the previous video, you saw I had the single and the quadruple. Well, here's the doubles. And again, got a package of them. Handy to have. Good for some robotics projects or different electronics projects. Ah, component tester. I think what we're gonna do I'll announce it separately. I think we're gonna give this away. I already have one of these. These are a fantastic device for newbies into electronics. They allow you to test uh, just about any component that you don't know what it is by putting it into the strip. And I already have one here in a 3D printed case. I just rattled off the CR10 3D printer the other night. They're, they're just great. They're, they're not for the professional in electronics out there. They're for the newbie who doesn't know what the component is or wants to double check the value or the forward bias of a diode or something really quick and easy. It, it's kind of a neat device and just a novelty to have. Good for your transistors and MOSFETs and stuff. That, that's why I like it. I don't use it a lot anymore, but I saw these again, the same one that I already have and I can vouch for it. And I thought, what the heck, let's do a giveaway on this. I think it'd be fun and it's something that I can ship. So look for that in an upcoming video. Click a thumbs up on this if you like these videos, guys. Really, really appreciate it. In this package, we got a whole bunch of split loom. This is just wire loom for robotics projects and stuff. I'm going to use this in the, uh, the big robot just to keep cable management, keep wires under control. You can route the wires through this split loom and just keep things under, under control. In this bag, yet another different way of doing it. This is stuff you see on 3D printers a lot. This is not split. You have to fish them through. It's more of a, a plasticky nylon, but it's woven and really really flexible uh, nice and flat simple small and really good for wires that are moving a lot to, to keep them uh, uh, from from breaking pinching and just generally keep your cable management in good shape I got four more of these all told I've added the Amazon Echo Dots all over the house now I'm really liking them uh, if you don't know this already uh, you can go and look for MKME on the Amazon skills and if you're in the US you will find my MKME the make me skill where you can get a daily briefing of what I'm up to in the Canadian one soon to come but uh, great little devices I'm really loving them I love those so much I couldn't wait to take them 
them out of the package. In this box, I just got some single cell lipos for my indoor quadcopters. Nothing fancy. These are on my store. Uh, I've used them before. It's just handy to have a bunch more single cells. And the cool thing with them, you can actually use these for electronics projects too, for uh, Arduino projects and such. So pretty handy. Next up, we got some new goodies from AKK. Uh, FPV they're an awesome little manufacturer these were sent to me free because I, I I registered with them for a while now and they keep me abreast of new components and I get to try them out on my quads and I think we'll do a standalone video because these nano FPV transmitters are just getting tiny now it's just incredible a uh, lovely little device for small quads uh, this is 48 channel switchable remotely through the UART so they're really really coming along with this stuff in this box I love their packaging by the way they take just a few minutes and they do things classy this is another uh, square mount style now this is much smaller than what your flight controller on your quadcopter fits but uh, beautiful little 48 channel again super micro uh, the wattage on this it is an MCX connector 5.8 gig and I'm just gonna have to look it up and we'll do a standalone video on some of these and test them out great great little technology the quads technology stuff is coming along so far and I think you're gonna see this company really really take off they're they're really pumping out the products and they're really looking after their customers to try and make sure it's quality guys that's it for today good luck in all your electronics ventures click a thumbs up on this video if you like what i'm doing here on the channel remember to hit me up in discord and support me on patreon down below you also get discord benefits and some other stuff and free giveaways and stuff if you uh if you hook up with me on patreon a dollar is all you need Guys, good luck in everything this week. Good to see you again. I will see you next video.